And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Tiger Tales Gaming Plays Um Jamalami. Um Jamalami is one of my old favourite games on the PlayStation 1 era, and a game I spent many, many, many hours playing. I am your host, I am TK, and I'll be with you for this shenanigan fest of entertainment and fun. And in this series of videos, I'm going to take you through the game level by level, probably sucking royally at them. And this is the opening cutscene, and it establishes the plot, the characters, and who we will be seeing. We're currently watching Jet Baby 2. Um Jamalami is the sequel to the popular game Parappa the Rapper, which was the game that many people used to teach them the controls on the PlayStation Joypad. Yes, that's one way of putting it. If you're going to complain about me talking over the video, read the subtitles, okay? That's what they're there for. But yes, the game is a pretty simple Simon Says style game, so the character on the screen will tell you which buttons to press and give you a rhythm-infused reason to press them. And your idea is then to copy what they do, try and match the beat, match the style, and play well. Like Parappa, you've got to do what they say, and you'll get rewarded by or graded by how well you do. For instance, if you're rapping good, you're rapping good. You can then go rapping to cool if you are rapping cool. But if you start failing, you start going down in the levels. You're rapping bad, you're rapping poor, and if you get lower than poor, you lose the game. This is exactly the same but with one slight difference. Um Jamalami is not a game about rapping, or at least not for the first half. Lammy, our lead character, plays the guitar. Rather epically. Katie Cat is our band member, and we are going to be in the band Milk Can with Masan, who's a strange little thing with dynamite in her head. We don't talk about her. And this weird little cutscene brings us to the opening. Yes, she's a lammy. She plays guitar, so she's a jammer lammy. Yeah. Let's get this crazy show on the road. Now, if you're like me and you've bought the game back on PlayStation one days and you're European, you're used to seeing six options on this screen because there's a languages option which puts the subtitles into many funny languages and other things. But this being the American one, because we had to get it from the American store, because at the time of purchase it wasn't available on the UK store, we have just this. And so we will start at the start and then take it away. The chocolate block you see on the screen there are what to press if you get up to cool. They will activate secret bonus mode and it's all good. So now the game begins. It seems that Lammy is late for a gig. But there is a long line at the gas this sounds a lot like a throwback to Parappa the Rapper, doesn't it, boys and girls? Mmm, cameos. <laughs> Speaking of cameos, yes, there'll be another one at the end of the series. Well, I say the end of the series, after the first seven levels. Good. I made it. Whee! It's your new band member. And here's our new vocalist, Chop Chop Master Onion! Fresh from the training level of Parappa the Rapper. Wait a minute. Who is that? Lemmy, here! You dropped your guitar. I'll throw it around the world for you. Because, you know, the world. Or something. And then we get a curious loading screen made up of onion fumes, because, well, why not? So as I said, the game is pretty simple. Match what they tell you to do on the screen. The controller should vibrate slightly to let you know it's your turn. And you've got to do well enough to stay on good or get up to cool. Very simple concept. Can't really get it wrong. So, he kicks. I press. He burns. I burn. He slides. I slide. Inca. And it basically follows the beat of the song. Like DDR and most other B-minus style games. Rhythm action goodness. Not really too difficult. Now, Rapper the Rapper, that's what you did for your entire first run through of the game. You matched what they did. You weren't allowed to improvise. You weren't allowed to muck around. None of that. If you started to do that, you'd go down in the rankings. You'd become bad, awful, game over. 
not good. I'm German, I mean, corrected this. And gave you a bit more freedom to muck around with. And if you tried to keep it kind of light and in, in the feeling of the song, you'd get up to cool. Trying not to get to cool. Also trying not to go down as well. Not easy. Okay, I'm ruining it now. Ah, rescued. You only master that if you're the necessary skills to build dark guitar. If you can play in hell, you come far. Yes, I make a point of that. And this bell I normally start sucking at. And as you can see, as we get worse. And now I can't fail. And that was it, that was the first level. And as you can see, that was a nice, simple, basic run through. And we also dropped down to bad for you there, just so you could see what happens as it goes down and down and down. And that was the first level of Umjamalami. If you like that, let us know. We will play some more of that soon. But until then, it's time to say goodbye here from Tiger Tales Gaming. Stay tuned for more bizarre, weird, I'm Gemma Laminus. Because, you know, you like that kind of thing, don't you? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.